Are we good? Mm -hmm. No, well, let's go. <laughs> Welcome everyone to another wonderful episode here of Jaws Podiatry. Uh, we haven't really spoken about <clears throat> gout in a long time. We haven't really posted a video, so that's why I'm taking the opportunity to, to post this, this video. So we have a young gentleman, and this is where, you know, they, they usually say it depends who you ask. You know, you can basically make a diagnosis, not only in podiatry, just in general medicine. You gotta listen to what the patient tells, uh, in this case, us. I was talking to the patient for a very long time. You can actually make a diagnosis just by simply listening. You listen to what they say, and it's, it's, it's actually quite uh, simple. Uh, to be able to pinpoint that specific diagnosis. You know, uh, the patient, just so you guys understand what the patient uh, relayed to me, and I was able to make a very, very quick diagnosis. Um, pain one week ago started out of nowhere, no trauma, no injury. Um, again, the, the patient the first thing I, I went to medications that seemed fine for all intents and purposes. Then we went to nutrition, which again, he's, he's on, a, on a very rigorous, uh, I guess, you know, rehaul, overhaul of his entire life. So he's got a nutritionist, he's got, you know, the right people on the bus to help him get, you know, lose a little bit of weight and get better and healthier. Um, then we went to, again, back to nutrition. I asked the patient if I didn't go straight into the history, if he has a history of gout. Um, we, I asked him, you know, about a week or two before he had this flare up a week ago, what did he consume? And, you know, I asked him, uh, was there any shellfish? Yes. Any stone crabs, uh, mussels, uh, you know, anything, it doesn't really matter. And the answer was yes. So, you know, that was basically the, you know, the red flag, right? That's, that's the red flag, not the green flag. But, you know, the good news is, and, and again, the meat, obviously, you know, we're looking at, you know, when we look at the definition of, of what is gout, you know, it's an inflammatory type of arthritis, also known as, I love to say that's podagra. That's what it's called, actually, podagra. And uh, podagra, also known as gout, it's, uh, it could be extremely uncomfortable. In this particular case, you know, it was for him, let's say a 10 out of 10 at the time when it really flared up. But, you know, this is nothing compared to some of the, to some of the cases that we see here where, you know, the patient cannot even, you know, put the foot down. You know, and, and this is something else that we were discussing, you know, the location, people associate gout uh, automatically with a great toe joint, right? right here, the first metatarsophalangeal joint. And then we have, right, it's right here. And then we also see a lot of gout in the mid-tarsal joint and also in the ankle. And, you know, it, I was telling also the patient that here, uh, the cases that we see, not so much the joint, the first joint here, the first metatarsal joint, we see a lot of it here and here. Now in his particular case, you guys can clearly see the difference between uh, number one, edema, swelling, no swelling here, uh, very, very puffy here on this side. Let's internally rotate the leg there. Everyone can see the difference, a clear difference, right? And not only that, more than anything, then I asked the patient, you know, have you felt a little bit, you know, when you had the, the when it was really bad, was the, was the ankle a little bit um, warm? And he said, yes. And today I would say 10 degrees warmer on the right than on the left. This is cool. It's cool in here. It's cool. This is warm. So again, uh, gout. So, you know, he is going to go back to his primary care physician. Uh, we'll get a little bit of blood work. And today, just for acute pain management, we already used our ultrasound, marked the spot. We're going to just give him an, what we call an intra-articular injection, a little bit of uh, local anesthesia uh, mixed with, a, with a, a really nice steroid. Okay. And that's exactly what we're going to do now. So, So, you know, I've already marked a spot right here, you know, and I'll take it from here, super, okay, right here. And then we're just gonna kind of go like that. A little pinch and burn, sorry about this. And then right, should go right in. One second, bring your toes to your nose. 
There we go. And here we go. A lot of burning. I hope we're still friends. And we're done. So, this is a band-aid, what we just did. This is pain management. Try to get them a little bit more comfortable. We already spoke about everything else in respect to more, more than anything, and most importantly, diet. So, you know, mm -hmm. from here, PCP, primary doctor, we, and, and by the way, very important, he has had several episodes of this in the last 10 years. So, in this particular case, if it looks like a duck, quacks like a duck, it is a duck. Anyways, like always, uh, www.jospodiatry.com, Instagram, Dr. Toejam, uh, Jaws Podiatry, Facebook, and last but not least, our YouTube channel, Jaws Healthcare. Do you have any questions, my friend? No. Thank you. If he doesn't have any questions, neither do I. Happy patient, happy doctor. Have a wonderful day, everyone.